Hello, uh, today I'm bringing you a video of uh, how to uh, configure Windows AD uh, in the 2019 server. And the process I'm um, doing is through uh, PowerShell, uh, rather go into uh, the uh, management tools in here. And it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, I already um, installed the, uh, in the previous uh, lecture or a previous uh, video I already installed the uh, uh, the Windows 2019 uh, server uh, VM and uh, actually in, uh, it's up and uh, running right now um, uh, virtually which I logged in into it it's right here and um, uh, I just demonstrated how you uh, log in it's uh, pretty straightforward you have to download uh, the uh, the uh, can rdp connector which i did which is located here and i did connect to uh, my uh, windows server uh, with the username and uh, and uh, password um, in this video what i'm doing is uh, i'm gonna uh, like uh, promoting or uh, adding uh, windows ad so uh, through a uh, uh, PowerShell in here, but uh, before we do that, we have to um, basically go to the Windows um, uh, our server within the Azure pool, and we go to uh, networking, and then uh, we go to the uh, the network interface itself. And uh, one thing I did, uh, uh, I went to the IP configurations because we have to reserve uh, the IP for the server here. So it's going to be dedicated. Uh, so um, we have to go to IP config one in here, and uh, this is by default comes on Dynamics, which uh, that's mean every time you restart your uh, computer, your server is going to start registering new IP to it, which is that's not uh, not the way it works, and uh, it's not going to be connecting, and it's going to give you a lot of problem. Rather. Reserving this like uh, doing a static one, uh, which uh, this IP it's a similar the, to the to the IP I have in my server in here, uh, which is um, uh, same IP which uh, 10.0.0.4, and it's gonna be registered because it's the same machine. So you're gonna save that uh, in here, put it in static, and save it. And it's going to start updating, and it's going to go and update the process itself. So um, again, um, I've done the uh, connection process of this, and uh, here, what you have to uh, select uh, this part, and then it's going to validate, and then you download the RDP, which I did uh, in here, which is going to come up here, and you simply open. Uh, you open this and uh, um, basically um, you drag, uh, which I deleted, I don't, you're not going to see it here. Uh, I opened the folder and then uh, I dragged it here. That's the simplest you can do. And then you double click on it and there's going to be a normal process of logging into the, um, to the server or uh, to the uh, VM in here. The um, next steps uh, we're gonna do here is um, to, um, to do the uh, the um, the um, installations of AD. So uh, basically, you're gonna um, go to the uh, to the server itself, and then uh, again, this process, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing it through uh, the PowerShell, strictly PowerShell, and I have a script and. Uh, Hopefully, I'll add it to uh, the YouTube channels in the comments area where you guys can uh, pull up this and uh, try it yourself. So we're going to go to PowerShell ISC and run it as an admin. And uh, we're going to go to the file, the, the, the one I have uh, saved on my desktop and open, which is, is a configuring uh, DC, it's called. So I um, happen to have, I have uh, um, um, already uh, a, a custom domain that I purchased from GoDaddy. And I added it to, um, in the previous video uh, I showed, and I, I added it also to the uh, Azure 
portal uh, you can uh, see here if you go to all services and then active directories and um, custom domain you will see it here beside my uh, as you can see beside my original Microsoft one so um, basically um, what we need to do in this part um, you're gonna add that custom domain what it says domain here and uh, for the uh, the domain NetBIOS, you're going to add that without .com. So I have nabilclaus.com and here nabilclaus without .com. The password, this is not the password you use to log into the server. Rather, is the password is for um, purpose of maintenance and such. So um, double check and see in everything. Uh, all the variables been declared and the forest and uh, everything has to be installed. Everything looks good so you're gonna save and go ahead and run that it shouldn't take that long and everything is if it's going uh, the right way as you can see here and it's gonna start declaring some stuff and everything is gonna be going as is we're gonna see a sign of uh, rebooting the server that's a good sign that's mean everything has been installed properly if it's not then it's going to come up to a message that um, a red error which that's what nobody wants and that's a big problem so uh, let's stay put and see what is going to be the final installation process in here The process took some time, honestly, and um, went to uh, uh, reboot, uh, but uh, uh, looks everything uh, went uh, good. And as you can see, everything uh, came up with uh, Azure AD is here, um, DNS is here, and if I go to uh, Active Directory, um, uh, uh, users and computers and it's going to pull up my um, as you can see my um, name uh, of the uh, domain names which I did register so uh, it took some time but um, as long as you have uh, all the um, uh, the uh, this script uh, as you can see here the one I um, the one uh, I showed you um, and the uh, one I already have done, I'm opening it with a notepad of course. Uh, everything is in intact and everything right. You have to um, make sure everything is there. and uh, Everything is going to come up uh, eventually uh, in the proper way and you will have no problem. The only thing at the end is going to reboot and the reboot process is going to uh, take some time so as you can see this is right now um, is uh, registered as uh, my name and uh, which is here the username under the domain which is this domain here as being an administrator so of course as you can see this is it so um, this is a username that I gave to myself which is Tom and this the, this domain which is everything looks uh, good so uh, the next steps uh, I will come up uh, with is uh, the next steps I will come up it's uh, adding users I'm going to use the PowerShell commands also for that just stay put please okay so we're going to go to the uh, server now and uh, we're going to run the uh, PowerShell command and I see again as an admin and uh, this time um, uh this time we're gonna go and uh, run open the uh, the other uh, script which is adding users here as you can see um, the the number of users which is, is these the, the variables here as you can see it's about 10 users I'm, I'm planning to have a, um, an accounting for them uh, this is the password. Uh, you can um, have your own password uh, the way you would like. I would change it uh, honestly right now. And uh, I will show you. I'll add an, uh, another 10. And, and, and then you can change this to whichever you prefer accounting or uh, IT or whichever 
you prefer and also you can change the password in here to whichever you prefer so uh, for this um, I'm gonna put again this um, in here um, let's do this right here I'm gonna add an IT department 10 users and also um, I will have uh, um, some um, I'm gonna add the password which I have to uh, pause here and add it and uh, tell you after that so I'm going to demonstrate to you um, how did I add it other users now uh, for example I'm putting uh, the I need 10 users in here uh, the usernames is the prefix is going to be a name under uh, general and it's going to be uh, of course uh, they're going to be added one two three everyone until 10 in here or user uh, zero and then one two three the uh, the script is going to um, designate every user and then this is the password I'm, I'm selecting to it uh, to add to have the, those user utilize again um, you can have it changed eventually but um, I'm just going you know, doing this demonstrations here you're going to save it and run as you can see it came up with the error possibly there's something uh, uh, the password complexity see that's the problem here with sometimes we have to have like a, a certain uh, characters here let me add one more characters and see what is going to have it. so if there is a if there is a problem this is what you're going to get that red her and it's going to tell you sometime you have to do some research but sometimes it may not have a research so let's see if it's going to take this properly because i added one character so let's see if it's going to be good and did not go through again uh so um basically um specific users already exist so um so basically so what do we need to do here is to um change this i'm gonna pause this probably and um, change these to um uh, fact or um let's see xyz users y z users and then we're gonna have a more complex uh password um let's see here for uh let's go ahead with a uh, spring um uh, 2023 and we're gonna have a um like a at sign symbols so this is could be um uh, a new uh, a new username and then we have a new password and we'll try it this way so um again we try this and it came up first with the error message uh, the 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 complexity of the password did not match and then the the second one that says the account already exists so i have to change the account now and then i'll go ahead and delete it eventually i'll show you how to do that so right now everything looks good i'm gonna try to um run that and hopefully it's gonna go perfect as you can see with no error messages so this is the way when you're running on a powershell you have to do a lot of research sometimes a lot of uh, um, um, a lot of readings and uh, it will sometimes tells you what the errors it is and sometimes give you a code so you have to go on google and search that so so far so good i will uh, show you now on the uh, on the uh, domain controller uh, under uh, azure domain controller the users that we created and i will delete the one who's not working so friends um, as you as i mentioned to you now i'm at the uh, domain controller now active directory as you can see those are all the users that we added and those are the users that we're having a problem with we can you can go ahead and uh, do it um, like an, an, an bulk and um, control um, um, press control key and select them all and delete all of them which they have because they were in, uh, given a problem um, or you can delete it or you can leave it and change the password but that I, what I do I would delete them all 
and leave all the uh, good users that I have as yeah, as I showed you previously I have an XYZ here I have the users um, the, the accounting users and beside the uh, the general general users so this is the way when you do a PowerShell you can add a bulk of users in here um, um, so everything looks good here. Um, um, this is the process of how you add you, uh, the domain con controller, configuring domain controller, and same thing with uh, uh, DNS and all the good stuff in here uh, using PowerShell and uh, also adding users. And I show you with a good example. So when you have a bad passwords, how you're going to change or users been replicated. Uh, how are you going to um, uh, not to panic? And you have to wait and how to mitigate the problems and uh, basically uh, change um, the users, uh, put, put more complex passwords in there as I did and I show you that. Um, friends, if you like the if you like the video, please uh, go ahead and uh, uh, click on likes and uh, also I uh, will appreciate your subscribes here if you have any questions comment please uh, add it below the common area of the video I will try to add these scripts in there although uh, usually I get these from githubs that's my repository where I get these things in there uh, thank you and have a great day